In this video, I want to talk to you about the relationship between wavelength and energy. Now, if we look at a wave and we kind of think about it, maybe it's like a picture of someone running back and forth between a couple of fences. And let's say this is like 10 minutes time frame here. So if a person runs back and forth between the fences once, twice, once, twice, or three times, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times, which one requires more energy? Obviously the one down here, they're doing more work. Now, the wave wavelengths work is kind of the same thing. If we only go back and forth a couple of times in a time span, that is a low energy wave. These would be like radio waves and microwaves. Then you got kind of medium frequency, which would be in the middle of the electromagnetic spectrum, like infrared, invisible light, things like that. And then you have high frequency, which goes up to x-rays and gamma rays. So just know that the more times it goes up and down in a certain uh, period of a certain space or a certain period of time, the higher the energy is. The less it goes, the lower the energy is. So just know that. The more waves or the, the, <laughs> the more waves you got going, higher energy, fewer waves, lower energy. If you have any questions, send me an email. Take care.